Hello friends, welcome to UPSC Logics and my name is Siddharth and today we are going to have a look at Hartog Committee report. So this particular report came out in 1928-29 and this committee was appointed by the Simon Commission to report on the growth of education in British India and to explore the potential of its further progress. So there were certain points that this particular committee made in its report and let us have a look at this particular report what it had to say about the education in British India. So this particular committee was appointed in May 1928 and this was appointed by the Simon Commission and was a five member committee with Sir Philip Joseph Hartog as the chairman and this was to report the growth of education in British India and to explore the potential of its further progress. Now let us have a look at the observations that this particular committee made and number one was that the responsibility of mass education rested primarily with the state and the provision of educational facilities should not be left entirely at the mercy of local authorities. So we have seen that the Hunter Commission had recommended that the newly founded local bodies which were the district board and municipality should be interested with the management of primary schools and the Hartog committee reported that this was not really feasible or the responsibility of mass education should rest primarily with the state. Number two was that the general condition of the secondary education was satisfactory but there were a large number of failures at matriculation level and this was quite bothersome. Number three was that the unitary or the standalone universities were not adequate and most of them contained a large number of undeserving students. Number four was that there was a considerable wastage of manpower resources and this was particularly in the primary system and therefore a number of remedies for combating this were suggested. Number five was that there was a need to establish a centralized education agency in Delhi. Number six was that the transfer of control of primary education to local bodies was not desirable and larger power should was needed to be assumed by the provincial government. So this point was again in contradiction with the Hunter Commission report and as we know that the commission had reported that the newly founded local bodies should be interested with the management of primary schools. Then number seven was that there was a need of improvement in the salary scales of teachers and there was a need to improve the curriculum and there was a need to emphasize on tutorial work in colleges, adult educations and other such subjects. So this brings us to the end of this particular video on the Hartog Committee report that came out in 1928-29 and was appointed by the Simon Commission to report on the education or the growth of education in British India. So thank you so much for watching this particular video and do like and subscribe to the channel if you are watching it for the first time and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notifications from UPSC Logics. Thank you so much for watching and Jai Hind.